at Nappy's Comics in Mishawaka, Indiana. This is Len. Len Nappenberger. It's the first episode of the Mr. The Kid show with Mr. The Kid. And I'm your host, Mr. The Kid. Mr. The Kid. Don't think.
think I want it bad enough I'll side of town and back then they tore up the highway which pretty much put me out of business so I took many years off and uh, decided to get back into it so here I am what's the story behind the name it's short for my last name Knappenberger spelled it with K's to make it different you know the comic is with a K just to stand out and be an individual and uh, when did this location open uh, it's been 18 months, so that would be October, I think it's officially October 4th of 2013. We tried to keep up with what's new and hot and trendy. I took down some of the Flash. I have a little left. You've got Flash with Grodd. That's a big deal on the TV show. Um, Flash with Professor Zoom. That's a big part of the TV show. There's some more Grodd. Ultron is coming in the Avengers, so we have some Ultron appearances. The Ant-Man movie coming soon. And then higher up, they revamped Howard the Duck this week. He has a new first issue. Here's almost the entire series from the 1970s. Put that out today. And then we have uh, new variant covers from this week, which are just alternate versions of what's already on the shelf. Some become collectible, some are just novelties and here's some of the previous variant covers a couple of good back issues first uh, spider gwen some star wars variants i'm going to fill the wall tomorrow with some i zombie i have a couple of runs of that that tv show starts this week so kind of a hodgepodge of what's new and what's hot maybe desirable back issues maybe some guest appearances um Early Turtles issue, the famous Dark Knight series by Frank Miller, Origin of Harley Quinn, just some different novelties for that spontaneous purchase. All along the top we have these posters that show the chronological history of DC Comics from January 1938 all the way around the room to I think 19, 1990s. As far as I know, we're the only store in the Midwest that deals with uh, vintage Lego. That's a big market now. Lego has, the reason I got into Lego, Lego owns the license for DC Comics and Marvel Comics, plus they have the Star Wars line. Yeah. So it's a strong tie in the comics. And the idea is to hook your customers, your young kids at an early age, and let them grow with the business. Um, kids are enamored when they can come up to a display case and pick their custom pieces and ships and cars and little guys for their own dioramas at home and buy it part by part. And sometimes it's cheaper to buy the parts and sometimes if they're desirable collector parts, it can be expensive. Um, 
tons of loose action figures, statues, carded figures. Most businesses will frame their first dollar, and to me that shows they're all about the money. <laughs> I framed my first book and it's completely worthless. It's still beat up like the day I loved it and read it to death. All torn up and choppy on the edges. Worth nothing to anyone but me. To me it's priceless because everyone has that story of what their mom threw away. I don't have that story. I hung on That's tight. she didn't throw away? No, I hung on to it. She let me have it. She should have and could have, <laughs> but here it is. If it was mint, it would be worth 35 uh, cents. No, if it, <laughs> if it was a nice near mint copy, eh, 15, 20, 30 bucks, depending on what range of near mint, yeah. It's from 1971. I've done this for a little while. I had one at North Village Mall that used to walk around the store and talk to himself. He would grab a book off the shelf and he would read it and walk around the store and talk to himself and comment to imaginary people about the contents of the book. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, I mean, I, I've had some like parents who might critique some of the artwork in the comics and then maybe they don't bring their kids in because it's a little risque you know I mean for all practical purposes Wonder Woman is fighting in an overgrown bathing suit so like yeah. not all parents are receptive to some of the art and the female characters but um, nothing nothing too wild I look at a lot of junk that people want to resell a lot of beat up and water yeah. damaged comics and I think that Pawn Stars and American Pickers don't do this hobby justice. There's a lot of stuff that are on those shows that they don't explain too well. You get people that are, think they're going to pull one over on you? That yeah, yeah, sometimes. They, they're going to outsmart you. It, most of the time they just think they're, they're rich with a beat up piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think they'll pull one over. I've done this long ago. All photocopied. No, I haven't, I haven't run into counterfeits yet. I don't, no. There's reprints of a lot of famous books like Batman number yeah. one and Action number one that I've come across where someone thought it was original. I had a helper in the 90s when I was at the other location and he worked for product and that worked okay. Though sometimes his collection grew pretty fast. He had to work a lot of hours. <laughs> We have a free comic day coming up. I don't know if you want to mention that. Yeah. That's a big what deal. Day, uh, May 2nd. Yes. This year. First weekend of May, and that's the week the Avengers movie opens up, so that's kind of a big deal. That will fill the comic shops to capacity. That was a very busy day last year. Anything? You were here that day, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Anything noteworthy? Do they announce anything that's... Now, Marvel, Marvel and DC are doing their big universe-shaking events this summer where they mess up their history and rewrite it and move forward with new first issues and stuff. So DC's doing Convergence and Marvel is doing Secret War, and both of those will tie in with the book on Free Comic Day. Okay. And I think there's an Avengers book which will help tie into the movie.
check out what I got from Nappy's Comics. All right. Sounds good, Mr. The Kid. Bill and Ted's Most Triumphant Return by Boom. Uh, haven't got into it yet. Got Ragnarok number four, subscription cover, FBP, Federal Bureau of Physics from Vertigo DC. Also, the week before, got Saga 26. This is definitely my number one book, not just currently, but of all time. I always read it, like, as soon as I can. Um, it's turned me on a lot to uh, Brian Vaughn and Fiona Staples, um, writer and artist, all those LJN wrestlers. Terry Funk, this is the one I had as a kid, out of all the ones that I got. Uh, doesn't have his hat or branding iron. <coughs> Funny story with him. Um, later, as a teenager, myself and my friend Raven uh, pretty much set him on fire in our in my driveway with fireworks. Got Don Morocco, Junkyard Dog, <coughs> Special Delivery Jones, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, uh, Jesse Ventura. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Uh, he had five on all of them and uh, gave me a better deal than that. So we'll take a look at some other stuff that I've got at Nappy's um, over the past year and a half that I've been going there. Um, one week he had a he was doing clearance on a lot of the action figures and toys, everything a dollar pretty much. So picked up a bunch of stuff. I got more than this, but I'll show you just some. Uh, some of the things I got. Uh, original Darth Vader. Storm from the 90's X-Men cartoon. Got a C-3PO. Uh, Man Spider. Look at that. That's pretty cool. For a buck. Got a Magneto with his helmet and some magnet pieces. Three. Comes with the cape. Also a Wolverine. Brown suit. Uh, Sauron. Jubilee. Uh, 80s G.I. Joe's, uh, Fast Draw, Dot, Dial Tone with a gun, Iceberg with his gun, I had this one as a kid, some Beavis and Butthead books, The Butt Files, this book sucks, I also got a uh, more vintage copy of V for Vendetta. Two bucks. Might have been less than that after it was all said and done. One other thing I got from Nappy's Comics a while ago was the first print of Saga Chapter 1. And, uh,. It was sometime during uh, the run, it was still in the teens, issues 13, 18, something like that. I mentioned to him that I was looking for an issue one first printing and uh, next week, within a couple weeks, came back in and he had this. And uh, it's not perfect, there are few little bends in the binding and there's this tiny tear there so it's not super high grade or anything but it's the first printing and I got it for single digits in money so that's good enough compared to what a first print can go for sometimes online.
My handy dandy safety pin. <clears throat> Hell and Earth Band Counterfeit CD, DVD, sticker, and some pogs, and some pogs, and some pogs, pogs. Let's play some pogs later. Button. Promotional consideration paid for by the following Retro, 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 a podcast about movies, video games, and anything else retro.